My dad left us. I was only six years old when he left my mother, sister, and me. But it's not as bad as it sounds. My dad moved away with hopes of providing a brighter future for my sister and me. He left us in Mexico while he went to work in the United States for an entire year. It seemed like an eternity to us. I remember my mother sobbing on the phone. I asked, why is daddy gone? And I wonder, why isn't he here to stop mommy from crying? I didn't realize he was fighting for my future. I couldn't comprehend that he was sacrificing so that I could get a great education. I was a young child then. Today, I am 17. And I see that my dad's love drove us apart for a bit, but it also bound us back together. For the past 10 years, I have been living in the United States with my family. I did not choose to be born in Mexico or to be raised most of my life here, but I do choose to be thankful for the life I now have. I have been blessed because of my parents' decision to move here. I have a roof over my head and food on the table. In school, I'm privileged to participate in student government. My art teachers have nurtured and encouraged my love for drawing. One of my driver's education teachers just proposed that someone paint a mural outside the classroom and ask me to do it. After school, I ran track and now I play on the soccer team. I have enjoyed volunteering at different community events and I help out with the junior high youth group at my church. I have watched my two brothers and another sister be born and grown up here. For the last 10 years, this has been home. At least it feels like home, but on paper I have no home. I am one of many other teens who were brought here by their parents without a legal right to be here. There are many challenges I have faced because of my parents' choice to bring me here illegally. For example, I got an A in driver's ed but can't take the driver's test or get a license because I don't have a social security number. And even though I'm willing and able to get a job to help my family out, I can't do that either. Approaching graduation next year, I'm facing one of the toughest challenges yet. My friends are visiting colleges deciding what school suits them best, while I have little hope of going to college. Federal financial aid is not available to me and I have no good options for work or school. I'm stuck. Every day, I pledge my allegiance to a flag and nation that promises liberty and justice for all. But I can't drive, can't get a job, and can't go to college. I am the person that I am today because of many experiences on this soil. But with these restrictions, because of my parents' choices, my future is less than bright. But I continue to hope. So far in school, I have taken all the required courses necessary for continuing on to college. My father says if things don't get better for us, soon we will go back to Mexico. This scares me. The U.S. has been my home since I was seven years old. He says without legal reform, we are at the risk of getting separated, and he will never let that happen to his family again. I do not want to leave all that I know. I want to go to college to fulfill my hopes and dreams, to live the American dream and give back to this country that I love. I recently learned of a bill that will help undocumented students like me who faced the wall after graduating high school. It's called the Development Relief and Education for Alien Minors Act, appropriately named the DREAM Act. To qualify, a young person has to enter the country before the age of 16, to live here for at least five years, and to graduate high school. There are about 65,000 students like me graduating each year who will meet these requirements. If this becomes a law, I could receive a temporary visa and go to college or serve in the military. After two years of school, or military service, I could become a permanent resident. The DREAM Act could help me realize my dreams, the American dream. Members of Congress, vote yes on the DREAM Act. It's a step toward liberty and justice for all Americans, including me. And friends, I ask you to call your representative in Congress and ask them to vote yes for my future, to vote yes to the DREAM Act. Please, do not be silent.